the British Medical Association has concerns that people could be confused into thinking they've seen a doctor when actually they haven't. And it warns that the blurring of roles has had fatal consequences. When you last went to the doctors, are you sure you saw a GP? If you'd in fact seen a physician associate, would you know how they differ from a doctor? Physician associates don't have the same training as doctors. Unlike doctors who study for up to seven years, Physician associates only require two years of study. Nonetheless, physician associates are being permitted to take on many of the roles doctors have traditionally fulfilled. And the government has now said that over the next 15 years, it wants to recruit 10,000 more PAs. Helen Salisbury was one of nearly 19,000 doctors who responded to a survey by the British Medical Association. The results have been shared exclusively with ITV News. 87% believe that the way that PAs are currently used is at least sometimes a risk to patients. And 86% believe that patients don't know the difference between a PA and a doctor. Staff shortages and overwhelmed GP surgeries has meant physician associates already in place are increasingly being called on to plug the gaps. Why are doctors like you so worried about the expansion of this role in the NHS? The first worry has to be about patients. I'm worried that patients will come to see someone in a GP practice um, and that person will not have the right skills to manage them safely and something will be missed. And making a confusing situation for the public even worse, the General Medical Council, that's the body responsible for doctors' regulation, has now been given the responsibility of regulating physician associates, further blurring the lines between doctors and non-doctors. Now, Parliament originally made it clear that physician associates were to be kept entirely separate from doctors. There should never have been any ambiguity or confusion. But instead, the situation has been left vague and indistinct. And a huge worry is that the GMC won't say what a physician associate can or cannot do to support patients. The precise term for this is their scope of practice. So it's left entirely down to market forces to determine scope, which favours using physician associates as doctor replacements. There clearly are concerns, aren't there, with how these PAs are being used. The BMA say this is a blurring of the lines between PAs and doctors, and they're calling this creeping expansion of these roles very dangerous. There is simply no good reason for all this ambiguity. In comparison, the General Dental Council has strict rules on the difference between dentists, hygienists, technicians, and the other professions that they regulate. Worse still, the GMC has confusingly started using the term medical professionals to encompass both doctors and PAs. Well, Anaesthetists United, a group of anaesthetists of all grades, think patients deserve better, that they should be cared for by doctors when necessary, that they should know who is and is not a doctor, and there should be separate regulation underpinning all of this, and they're ready to take action. They want clear and enforceable guidance from the GMC on the privileges of members admitted to associate practice, defining what they can and cannot do and clear rules on levels of supervision. How hard can this be? It should be a no-brainer. And these tissue united for the only route left open to resolve this serious issue, which goes to the very heart of patient safety, is a legal one. So if you're able to, please consider contributing to their Crowd Justice Fund. There's a link with this film.